So I'm on Appledore Island outside the coast of Maine, which is largely colonized in the summer by sea gulls. There's two types. There's the black bat gull, which is standing right here next to me, and the herring gull over here. It's a little bit smaller with the gray wings. As you can see, the black bat gull is actually enormous, and in this ecosystem, the black bat gull is the apex predator. So what I'm holding here, these are mammalian bones. The major mammal that lives on this island is a population of muskrat. The muskrat in general is about yay big, and these birds will actually eat those muskrat as they're pretty, because they are the top predator on the island. So if you'll notice, this seagull behind me has a band down here on its lower left ankle. And banding is a method that's used by wildlife biologists a lot because there's a lot of things you can do with it. It allows you to track an individual bird over time and over years. So the banding study that has been done at Appledore Island in Maine, where I am right now, actually began in 2005. And so, uh, and I'll explain what just happened in a second. Uh, but that allows the, the scientists who study these gulls to actually track survivorship. So you can see how many uh, gulls survive year to year. But what's really cool is that with the banding, you can actually track relationships between animals. So for example, what we just saw was a pair bond that switched guard at the, ne the nest. So the gulls here on Appledore Island actually form long-term pair bonds and through banding the scientists have been able to see that the same birds stay together year after year after year and in fact the only time that uh, they will actually split up it seems like it's sort of a, a momentous occasion when a bird goes through a divorce and so using the banding they're now begin to study things like parenting success rates so they look at a particular couple and track to see how do the juveniles that these parents raise eventually do and what are their survivorship rates. So there's a lot that you can learn once you're able to actually track a particular animal.